I don't want to talk to the air, but my voice my, bad, I, my, my voice isn't strong enough. Um, I'm actually really good. Just came up here for the show. We got tomorrow at our DDP Yoga Workshop. We have already over 180 people. Nice. Yeah, and uh, if anybody wants to still come, if you catch the last second, DDP Yoga Workshops with an S, ddpyogaworkshops.com. Um, but, you know, that's why I bring news. I came up here. That, of course, support Cody. You know, he's been like my nephew since he was 12 years old. And uh, I love what they're doing. I think it's just great for the wrestling business right now. So, it's, you know, it's a pretty, uh, pretty amazing, um, you know, thing they put together here. So you mentioned Cody. What are your thoughts on the whole thing, on who he's going to take out to the ring with him? And what are your thoughts on his match with Sean Spears? Well, you know, I'll be in that group that walks him out to the ring. Sure. Um, who gets to stay? We'll see. Um, you know, I um, I think I've made an impact over the last couple uh, I would agree. shows. I would agree. Just, just doing some fun stuff, you know. Um, I, I think that uh, um, Spears and uh, Cody are going to have a hell of a match. Um, you know, it's... I was listening to Cody last night. He did a Q&A with Shivani, which was really good. Uh, it was really, really good. And uh, he talked about Spears and how Spears basically taught him how to wrestle. You know, when he came in OVW, it wasn't like he really knew anything. He knew a couple little things, but he didn't, you know, he, he didn't ever really do it. And when he came in there, Spears and him were super tight. So I expect, you know, it was, I think that some of my best matches were with uh, Chris Canyon. He was a very good friend of mine. I hear that from a lot of people about Canyon. Uh, Brian Cage talks about Canyon a lot. Yeah, he's a, he was he was a, he was an innovator. He uh, very very talented cat, and uh, you know I had helped him get a lot of breaks he had early on, and so whenever I wrestled him, I felt like I was wrestling a, a you know a much younger version of myself. So it was the, the, the you know we had magic in the ring. I think it, Cody could have that same magic with Spears. We'll see. So now that you're, you know, doing your tours with DDP Yoga, doing your workshops all over the place, how would you say that your travel and all the different places that you're doing these workshops as opposed to wrestling, how would you say that compares, like, travel-wise? Because I know you're on the road all the time. Um, I'm not as much as I used to be, but um, I still get out quite a bit. I might, like, I'll be, I'm at the Dallas Cowboys game in October. I'm up in Philadelphia filming a, a segment for a show we're going out with. Um, that's a reality inter um, competition show. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always doing something with some kind of charity work. So I'm, I'm on the road more, more than I want to be. Um, but um, I, when I go out, it's for short periods of time, ideally. And then I try to get back home because I, I want to be home because that's where my DDP Yoga Performance sure. Center is, you know, and that's where I'm, I'm working with a lot of people. There are a lot of athletes, a lot of from current athletes to guys who are all banged up. Like we signed a partnership with the NFL alumni in February, and I've been working with a lot of those guys at this moment. I would be remiss not to bring up, I just got done finishing your book, Positively Unstoppable, which from all accounts is killing it right now. Um, for those who are on the fence on whether or not to try DDP yoga, I've been trying to get my dad to do it because his knees are shot. And uh, how much would you say, like, what would you say the biggest benefits are for a somebody that's out of shape and b can you speak a little bit to the importance of diet diets you know i always say that diet and the workout are like 10 percent of the equation the 90 percent is between your ears and you read the book you know mm -hmm. positively unstoppable it's all about the art of owning it and it can be whatever the hell you want it to be but it's always going to involve with putting the work in and it is never just going to happen it only comes with work ethic stick to itiveness relentlessness you know you've, you've got to just keep working um, I think once you've figured that out the food gets easier when you educate yourself like there's two there's two movies to watch uh, one won the Oscar in 2007 for Best Documentary. It was called Food, Inc. The other is Genetic Roulette. And then if you can see what they've done to our food and then still eat garbage, well, whatever your prognosis is, is what you made. Because, you know, most people keep their head in the sand. I don't. I read, watch everything. And I learn. And out of it, I'm going to do whatever is going to... I'm 63 and a half right now. I'm not preparing for 65. That's tomorrow. I'm preparing 
for 75, 85, 95, hey, maybe 105, I don't know. But I, I know as I get older, I don't want to get older if I'm going to be miserable in my body. And I'm not, you know, so it's just staying ahead of it. What I eat, what I think, how I train. Last but not least, since we've got people here, I'll let you go. Um, question for you being with, we've already know your uh, ties to Cody, but are there any other matches in particular on the card that are sticking out to you? And if so, which ones and why? Well, you know, I was really, like a lot of people was pumped up to see Omega and Moxley. I thought that was going to be, you know, you know, it'll be a barnstormer. And then Mox with his elbow, you know, got put out. And then you bring in um, Pac, you know, that's a bad SOB, man. I he, agree. That kid can go. So I see Omega taking it maybe even to a different level because of, you know, the talent Pac that's coming in. Oh, yeah, I think that I think they're both crazy risk takers, and they're, they're tough son of a bitches, you know. So I think it's going to be – they're going to put on a hell of a show. And my boy Jericho, you know, I got, I got no – I got – no one do I have more respect for in the business than I do for CJ. You know, for what he's done, who he's been, how he's done it, everything that he does, he reinvents himself. Uh, you know, this is just the latest of his reinvention, which is really 100% him um, take out the heel. Because yeah. <laughs> he's not a, he's, he is a great heel, but he's not a heel as a human being. He's a tremendous human being. Um, and him just, he's, he's living his own, I mean, the guy's living two dreams at one time, you know, three dreams, excuse me, three dreams, wrestler, top of the world. He's now a rock star and he filmed, um, he filmed Judas at my place. I saw that. And, uh, my Dean Fiocco Performance Center and my, the guy who does all his, uh, directing for his videos. Steve, you right? Uh, Steve, you, Steve's an overseer, but for, for his videos is Nathan Mallory. Okay. And Nathan is one of my young guys who works with me. And um, so legitimate rock star, like big hits with, the, with, uh, uh, with, with that album. And uh, podcast. I mean, he's one of the top podcast guys out there. So what can he do? Nothing. And that he has been promoting DDP Yoga for, a, you know, for, God, he's been almost a decade now. He was 41 when he blew his back out, so eight years ago. Uh, he's going to be 49, and he can still go the way he goes. Him and I, I think that kid got a lot of talent, man. Hangman got a lot of talent. So this is the show, though. This is, this is this, It's bigger than what happened here a year ago because the stakes are so much higher. So who rises to the top? Who makes the biggest impact? Um, I think this is going to really set the tone for what's going to happen come October 2nd. Who's going to be my breakout star? Who's going to be the guy I think will be the breakout star that will really be, if he can keep his feet on the ground while he's reaching for the stars, the guy who I think will make the most impact in AEW is MJF. He can talk a streak of shit. And he can work pretty damn good. And uh, he's still young. Um, he can be annoying as hell. But he kind of has that I love to hate you hate right. heat that Flair had. You know, now Flair, everybody because just loves him. people want to see him get his ass kicked. Right. And that's Flair had that. Um, like, I was either a heel or a baby face. I really... I tweened it for a while, but it wasn't it wasn't saying like you love to hate Ric Flair for a while there. Then of course you just loved him because he was Ric Flair. <laughs> but um, he's got that he's got that thing. So again, keeping his feet on the ground and reaching for the stars that's what will determine what happens with him. Well, that's fair, man. We've talked about positively unstoppable. If you haven't started it yet, check out DDP DDPY. Um, thanks for the time, man. Appreciate your time. Hey, and just let you know, anybody who goes to the app, DDP, go to go to ddpy.com, and then you'll see the app section there. You get seven days free to try it. This way you have no excuse. So do it and own it. See you.
Thanks, man. I appreciate the time.